Hi, welcome. Simon here and hope you're doing well. In this video, I'm going to walk you through step by step on how to do a screen replacement with the LCD replacement on an iPad 8 generation. If you take a closer look here at the very bottom, you should be able to identify the model as A2270. Here, definitely, you can see I have a cracked screen as well as the LCD because as, as, as soon as I press the LCD, you can see that the uh, LCD has just pixelated lines across it. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. First thing first, always safety. You want to protect yourself at all times because those broken glass can fly into your eyes. So make sure you have the safety goggle. And here, I'm not able to turn off the iPad because I can't really see uh, where the power button is or even the touch. Well, we'll give it a try. Press and hold, long enough, and see if I can slide it. Make sure it's tilt on this way. It doesn't seem like that slide button works. All right, so it doesn't seem like the uh, the power button can turn off the iPad. We are going to disconnect the battery. All right, so let's go ahead and use the heat gun. We are going to heat up the iPad screen and remove the broken glass. As you can see, I'm only heating up one corner. Uh, there's no sense to heat up the entire iPad. And then by the time you get to it, the bottom part gets cold, right? And the adhesive get hardened, um, that double-sided tape get hardened, then, then you can't remove those broken, broken glass. So you just want to heat up where you're going to work on. So I'm going to work on the top right corner here. So therefore, I'm just going to heat up on that side. I can always come back and heat up the rest. And again, in this video, I'm going to be a little bit rough, not as gentle as I would be. Uh, as you can see, the screen is really shattered, as well as the LCD is broken. So there's nothing I can save on the LCD screen. So therefore, I am going to heat up and be a little bit hard on the iPad. Um, because we're going to replace the screen, the glass, as well as the LCD screen, okay? You can see the glass is really shattered, so it may take me some time to really clean off those tiny little small glass. It's like a gazillion of them. And uh, this is not fun. I just like to know what is the story behind how they crack this iPad screen so badly. It looks like the impact point is on here, but how did it break? It's definitely not a fall and crack the glass. It's definitely some kind of a, I don't want to say it's a violent, but it might have been an accident. I noticed that the iPad is somewhat bent. If you notice here, the impact point on the left middle, uh, the base on the iPad is slightly bent. I just used my hand to re-bent it again. Uh, that's what I did. Uh, that's hopefully that, that stay flat so that the new screen can, can go in.
you always be careful when you are re removing the glass because all this tiny little glass it is flying everywhere on my table on my shirt so Just be very careful with it, okay? Do not hurt yourself. Do not. Yeah, do not get hurt to yourself. Is this a simple process to do the screen replacement? I'd say the answer is no. I've done this many times, so it's easier for me to. To, you might see easy for me to do it um, yeah so it's not that easy but if you do have the time and the skill meaning that if you're a bit handy person you've done somewhat of repair on a different items like laptop computer home accessories whatever that is if you feel yourself is a little bit handy, then maybe you can do a replacement screen on the iPad. The difficult part is to remove the broken glass. And that is the most challenging part. Other than that, it should be very straightforward. Uh, not such a big deal. And this is only my opinion, okay? Curious to know what happened to the owner of this iPad. How did it crack? Maybe the kids. Do you think it got run over by a car? Maybe. So here you want to pay a close attention to is the bottom part where the Wi-Fi is and the home button. We are transferring the home button to the new iPad screen. Uh, so I'm trying to save the original home button. If you break the home button, it's not a big deal. You can install a third party home button. It's just that the touch ID wouldn't work. Uh, I, for me, I like to save the original home button by telling the customer, uh, you still can use your touch ID. That's pretty much it. Uh, but, but sometimes by accident, you may have break it or maybe the drop might have caused the damage then it's not a big deal you can always install a third party all the clicking stuff would work except the, uh, the touch ID so here I like to heat it up a little bit longer not too much but enough to make sure I do not pull and separate the screen on top of the, uh, the Wi-Fi and the home button so this way you want to pay a closer attention to is the bottom part right here. So far having some difficulty, only half of it is working with me, the other half is just stubborn, it just doesn't want to come out. Okay. And you also see that the way I'm hitting up the iPad, I do not stay in one position because if you say, because the heat gun is too hot and if you stay in one position, not moving the heat gun, uh, you may burn, you may cause the, uh, um, a burn on it, right? So for my case, uh, again, like I said, I'm going to replace the screen and whatnot, the LCD screen, so it is it is fine with me. But for you, you shouldn't be doing that. All right, here I'm transferring the bracket. Uh, I'm trying to go underneath that bracket right there. Wish I did. 
the next one is the home button here comes the cable slightly slide it in separate it away from the broken glass I need to come back and clean it uh, but for now it, the main goal is to separate that okay great uh, it is now being separated I'm going to cut the digitizer because we do not need that guy here this is dangerous throw it away I'm gonna come and do a, a general cleaning remove the big pieces and come back and do the detail cleaning for the tiny little ones. All right, I'm gonna do a little shake, making sure Ouch. I just poked myself. This stupid broken glass. Oh well. It happens. So I'm shaking it off. See how many millions of glasses is on the table. Hundreds and thousands of these small little pieces. Always have a clean desk so you do not but accident hurt yourself. I have a trash can right underneath the table. I am just sweeping those things into the trash can. Okay, come back here. Let's go ahead and work on the, uh, the LCD. I'm removing the screws, there are four screws holding down the LCD screen, so remove the screws using a tiny little screwdriver that runs on 1.5 millimeter. And here you want to peel that little plastic, the tape is covering up that screw, so peel that tape back, expose that screw, okay. Expose that screw and remove that, okay? Comes the second one here on the top right. Peel that tape. Expose the screw and remove. Remove it. Alright, so you, once you have done with that process, I like to cut this thing off. You know what, I don't have to. Because we are changing out the screen. But for my case, yes. But for your case, might be different, okay? Um, the reason why I just do not like the tape here being covered, you just I was going to tell you to cut it off. Now the important part, I'm using a tweezer here. Uh, if you can see, let me just cut it off. Just do it the right way. I'll do it for you so you guys can see. Okay, so the reason why I cut it off so that I can uh, take a look at the this little gunk. So this black gooey stuff is holding down the screen. So when you remove that screw, it doesn't mean that the screen comes off. You still have to scrape off that little glue that they put it together. Okay, they are on both sides, left and right. So let's do it the same on this side. Clean off that little thing. I am going to lift it towards my body like such. Remove the screw, so there's one, two, three screws in total. Remove that bracket, get a plastic prying tool, go underneath, pry it open. That's the LCD screen, we are going to change this out. Okay, leave it here for now. Remember the two cable, the cable that I cut off, that is for the screen digitizer. And uh, we don't need them, right? So why do we keep the broken glass? Now you're gonna ask me, you did not disconnect the battery. I know, I can do it now. Just unscrew. And 
I'm just going to use the plastic prying to get underneath like such. Don't really have to do much about it. All you have to do is just a little separation. Okay, little gap, little separation. You see that little gold piece? When they're not touching together, that means we just kind of disconnected the battery and the iPad is power off. It is still off, it's not on. Although I installed a screw to reconnect the battery, but you still have to press the power button to turn it on. Okay, I'm gonna put, throw this away. We don't need that. Now here comes the cleaning time. I just wanna make sure we clean the iPad. Shake it, you can see that all these glasses are falling off again. And here you might want to come get the metal prime too. Kind of push it off, clean everything on the side uh, so that the new screen when it sits sit on top of the base it will sit flat and flush, right? So we want to push that little all oh, this little small piece of broken glass, push them away, push it off, clean it off. If you see them, just clean it off. At the same time, I'm scraping off that little uh, residue of the glue coming off from the broken glass. So those are the glue that you can clean it off as well. Let's pick up those broken glass here. So there's a little bend and a crack happened to be right at the pencil. Uh, not sure what happened to it, so I gotta re-bend a little bit. Hoping that it's going to work. Here is the Wi-Fi cable, as I mentioned earlier. Uh, be very careful with them. Do not break that Wi-Fi cable. If you snap that thing, uh, it's going to be a big job to do a Wi-Fi cable replacement. So pay attention when you get to the bottom of your iPad. All right, so they're both left and right. Just pay attention to that side. And here is the home button. I'm going to clean off the home button here. Now you can see that I need to clean off those broken glass, uh, making sure that the bracket is just the bracket, okay? This should not have any uh, glass sitting on the bracket. And I'll give it a second and show it to you. So I'm going underneath. Again, um, that right there, those are the broken glass, it's still sticking onto the bracket. I need to get it out. And Apple used hypoxy glue to glue the bracket on that glass. So we need to uh, really get it out. Okay, so this one. And that is the second piece. Okay, once you clean it, you should be able to see that the bracket is like that. Okay. Yeah, of course you have some kind of glue residue that's still sitting on top, but that should be good. All right, everything is good. Looks good, looks good. So we have done the difficult part. 
that's the very difficult part and it took me 20 minutes this nuts all right just kind of wipe off the table all these little small glasses turn it wipe it off all right let's jump into the replacement so i have the uh, replacement screen here uh, if you're not sure where to buy them check the link down description below i direct you to either amazon or ebay where you can find the lcd screen as well as the digitizer okay so let's go ahead and peel this one a little bit because i need to have a good um, sense while touching the home button so i'm gonna remove that cut it off a little bit do not forget to peel this here in the back there's a film covering up the back of the glass you need to peel that thing off and then here I am going to install okay so we are going to install this so there's a little blue tape I'm going to go underneath that tape and then just flip that cable like so so you can uh, fold it in after okay now I like to install the home button first so let's go ahead and install the home button like so so make sure you uh, have a good feel on the other side make sure it feels flush the important thing is to make sure that things sit up, sit on top of that being flush not like sticking out or anything like that Okay, so it's too tall because I have this little piece here, which I'm going to remove it. I was able to remove together with the uh, original screen that here it comes with it already it's still on the home button. So I need to remove that, sit this thing flush, go in there. Okay. and then you want to come here and feel it on the other side make sure you're able to press and feels that click okay the click is aligned to the back of the bracket make sure you're feeling the click when it's good you want to come here get yourself this super glue it's a gel and do a little drop just tiny little drop because when you squeeze it it should how big is the drop? Maybe half the size of a rice. So it's a very tiny little drop because as you press it, it's gonna ooze out that gel and you do not want that gel to be all over the cable, right? So uh, make sure you do not squeeze a lot. All right, again, double checking. I wanna come back, waiting for the bracket to to harden with the glue I'm using my other finger to sense the click as I'm pressing I can feel the clicker is good so I'm just gonna let the thing sit and get hardened all right so while we are waiting for that uh, let's go ahead and reconnect that LCD um, let's reconnect all this cable okay they're just like Lego. You need to align them in the right position and then just press it in. Okay. 
the, the key is to have the cable sitting on top properly and then you press it in so do not force it in you just have to find that little sweet spot that the cable sits on top of it and then you press it in not so hard okay here comes the LCD all right here comes the bracket I think by now the home button should be good. It's already hardened. Okay, and then have the LCD screen goes on top of it, making sure it's all the way in. Have the four screws go back on so on the top right corner here comes the top left corner bottom right and bottom left at this point what I like to do is to power up the iPad I can see the Apple logo is on but for security reason I am going to cover up the screen like such until I making sure there's no uh, customer pictures photos background things like that or anything so I just want to make sure I cover them up all right as you can see uh, I have a screen it looks like the screen was on the other side so let's press the home button as you can see it works so press oh sorry there's no passcode very straightforward great all right, so what I like to do next is to peel, peel off this plastic very gently. Oh, before I do that, let me fold it in. Uh, before I like to do that, I want to share with you, I like to use this double-sided tape. Okay, you're gonna ask me like, why do I need to use that? Because the new screen comes with it. Yes, I do see them has it pre-installed but I can tell you one thing they do not stick good okay so if you use that pre um, adhesive tape from that screen uh, they're probably gonna last you like for I don't know a week or two and then you can see that the iPad screen starting to get separate so what I like to do is I like to buy this third-party uh, double-sided adhesive tape I got it from Amazon um, here I'm using the three millimeter so it's three mm that's the thickness of that width the the width of that uh, the tape so that is the three millimeter and here I have the two millimeter and the two millimeter I use it on the side because the base on the iPad is a lot skinnier okay So, you might want to uh, spend a little bit more money get that double sided tape which is a lot stickier and it stick much better alright so let's here and do on the other side of the screen so I'm going to press it down holding it, holding it I like to use my fingernail to tuck in and press the tape down like so so that I have a good grip on all the side and the corner 
Okay, like such. And now I'm going to come back, finish up. What I need to do is to peel this thing off. That is the thing. I'm going to come here, peel the tape that I just installed. On here at the very bottom. And the one here on the top. Now I can start peeling the one here on the screen. Yes, I'm using that screen as well. You don't have to remove it, it's just that I'm adding additional tape to hold on the LCD screen. Okay, so peel that thing off. Peel this thing off. Peel this one off as well. All right, I am going to fold it in. I like to align them on the bottom left and then align them on the bottom right. Make sure I have them aligned carefully as I'm still holding the screen. I did not press it down because I still got to come back and peel that final piece, which is the tape right here. Okay, that is one and the second would be on this side. Okay, once I peel everything off, since you watch all the way to the very end, I like to show you a little secret. I like to use my um, metal prying tool to push this cable, the flex cable, back in, and then I close the screen. Okay, so you can have a very flush seating on that side. Let me press the home button. As you can see, everything works. Um, one way to do it, you want to press the home, right? And then you just want to make sure you test all the corner, that it run perfectly fine. And there you go. Put it back right there and that's it so i hope this video is helpful for you and uh, kind of press it on the side making sure everything sits properly and there you have it ipad 8 screen replacement and lcd thanks for watching if you do find this video is helpful please go ahead and smash the like button for me i really appreciate you for doing that and if you have any question please comment down below i do read the comment and i will answer you comments okay and again if you're not sure where to buy the uh, replacement screen from please check the link down in the description below direct you to either Amazon or eBay to buy this tape glue replacement stuff and of course safety first thanks for watching take care bye now